Number 10, Will Smith and Margot Robbie. In 2013, Star Magazine published a bombshell allegation that Will Smith was caught cheating with his co-star Margot Robbie when they worked together on the movie Focus. The report actually claimed that in photo booth pictures that they found and published on their cover, Will appeared to be shirtless and Margot lifted up her own shirt to reveal her lingerie. The magazine also claimed that after they pulled the curtain back to take the pictures, they were getting very touchy-feely with each other in the dark. The scandal was massive at the time because Will is married to Jada Pinkett Smith and back then they had yet to admit to having an open relationship. But the rumours soon died down as E! News revealed that the pictures were commissioned by a production and that the entire cast and crew saw them being taken. It also came out that Will and Margot are absolutely just friends and there was nothing else going on between them. Even Margot was quick to deny everything on Twitter, quote, there's absolutely no truth to the ridiculous rumour. It's disappointing that goofing around on set could be taken so out of context. Well, people do tend to jump to conclusions. Number 9, Dominic West and Lily James. The actors were at the height of scandal when they were photographed getting cozy in Rome, all while filming their new series of Pursuit of Love in 2020. The pictures show the stars kissing, sitting at a cafe, standing on the Spanish steps, and riding tandem on a scooter looking very much to be on a date. Although Lily was single at the time, Dominic has been married to Catherine Fitzgerald for 10 years, and they have four children together. A source told The Sun that when Catherine saw the pictures, she was devastated and tried to get a hold of her husband, but he wasn't answering his phone. She was reportedly shocked by the whole thing because she didn't realize anything was going on. But only a few days later, there was a photo taken out the front of the couple's home with a note saying, Our marriage is strong and we're very much still together. Thank you. Since the incident, James has kept quiet and cancelled various interviews to promote her latest film, Rebecca, which is probably a good decision considering the fact that that both parties have not yet publicly talked about their affair since it occurred. Number 8. Chad Michael Murray and Paris Hilton In 2003, Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush fell in love while filming the TV series One Tree Hill. Two years later, they were married. However, they separated just five months later when rumours swirled that Chad had cheated on his wife with Paris Hilton, his co-star on the film House of Wax. During the time he and Paris both worked on the horror film together, they reportedly had an affair, according to Backstreet Boy Nick Carter, who was dating Paris at the time. But after separating, Chad and Sophia still had to keep working together for another three years on One Tree Hill. If that's not awkward, I don't know what is. It wasn't until 2011 that the actor decided to rethink the way in which he was living his whole life. Quote, When you're young and you're thrown into something that I was definitely not ready for, I'm human and I screw up. But his ex-wife definitely took the whole affair much harder, and it's clear that his actions really affected her in the long term. In 2017, she wrote in Cosmopolitan that the scandal was a massive event in her life and the trauma of it was amplified by how public it became. She has also said that she feels the marriage was a joke and it did nothing but reduce her to a Hollywood statistic. Ouch. At number 7 we have Sam Hunt. Now it's never a good idea to cheat on your spouse, however we can argue that sometimes there are certain times worse than others. And Sam Hunt cheating on his wife just months before she was due to give her first child, it's one of those times. In papers his wife filed back in May, Hannah cited that Sam was found guilty of inappropriate marital conduct and adultery. TMZ would also report that within her filing, Hannah also checked a box reading that the husband is guilty of such cruel and inhumane treatment or conduct towards the spouse as renders cohabitation unsafe or improper. Now, the divorce papers were filed just a few months before she was due for having her child and the couple's five-year wedding anniversary. Hannah is now looking to receive child support, alimony, and primary custody of the couple's child. At number 4 we have Tristan Thompson. So since Chloe and Tristan started dating back in 2016, the couple has been consistently on and off. However, in the beginning of the year, Tristan would propose to Chloe and the two would be secretly engaged for 9 months and they even revealed that they were going to have a second child. Now around this time, Marley Nichols would come out to say that she was also pregnant with Tristan's child and that he had to take full responsibility for his actions. At first, Tristan did what he always tries to do and he tried to deny the rumors, but after a paternity test proved that he was the father, the NBA player would then come out to say, Today the paternity test results revealed that I am the father of Mara Lee Nichols' child, and he went to acknowledge that he hurt Chloe, who he was still dating at the time when his newborn was conceived. Number 3. Billy Crudup and Claire Danes The massive scandal started in late 2003. Billy and his girlfriend of 8 years, Mary Louise Parker, who at the time was about 
seven months pregnant with his son broke up. The New York Post reported that the actor had moved on with his stage beauty co-star Claire Danes, who was only 24 at the time. In the summer of that year, the former co-stars had been spotted getting cozy all over New York City and even had a very cute looking courtside date filled with PDA. But Billy wasn't the only cheater in that situation as Claire also ended up breaking the heart of her longtime boyfriend Ben Lee to be with the actor. Their love affair didn't last long however and it's clear that all the heartbreak wasn't even worth it because they ended up splitting up just three years later. Naturally, the ultra private couple didn't discuss the reason behind their breakup but the tabloids were happy to do so for them. Several magazines even claimed that Danes had left Billy for Hugh Dancy but we'll never really know what happened. Years later, Claire said, quote, I was just in love with him and needed to explore that. I was 24, I didn't quite know what those consequences would be. Number two, Morena Bakarin and Ben McKenzie. The Homeland actress furiously denied rumors that she had been cheating on her husband at the time, Austin Chick. But when she got pregnant by her Gotham co-star Ben McKenzie, there was very little she could do to cover it up. And just like that, the cheating rumors were confirmed. Although the actress tried to shut down the allegations, according to a TMZ report, the divorce papers filed in 2015 by Austin show that he claimed that he was still sharing a bed with Morena when she conceived Mackenzie's baby. She did get a happy ending though and eventually gave birth to Mackenzie's daughter Frances in March of 2016, just two weeks before her divorce from Austin was finalized and went on to marry Mackenzie in June the following year. But did she at least feel a little bad for sleeping with her co-star while she was married? Well, not really. In fact, she told People magazine that working with him on Gotham was wonderful. Quote, Ben's the sweetest. It's very nice to work with your significant other, especially when you're pregnant because you know you'll get some extra TLC and get taken care of. I mean, yeah, I guess that sounds nice if you can ignore the question of how they met. Number one, John Malkovich and Michelle Pfeiffer. The legendary actor John Malkovich caused intense scandal both on and off the screen when it came to filming 1998's Dangerous Liaisons with his co-star Michelle Pfeiffer. At the time, the actor had been married to actress Glenn Headley for six years, but that completely fell apart in the midst of his affair with Michelle. Interestingly enough, even the film's director, Stephen Frears said, quote, Dangerous Liaisons is about betrayal and lies and relationships unraveling. It was one of those times where reality and art intersect. It was overwhelming to John. Even for a man who delights in bad behavior, that was a difficult time. Not to mention the fact that John's older brother, Danny, told Entertainment Weekly in 1993 that when the actor came home with Michelle, that that was the happiest that he had ever seen him. But even though John and his ex-wife got divorced in 1988, the affair didn't last long either and they reportedly broke up not long after. But apparently Malkovich took the breakup very hard and reportedly cried for a whole year. The two of them must have really had something special because he told The Guardian in 2008, quote, it's hard to believe Michelle Pfeiffer ever said hello to me. I mean, if you can forget about the fact that he cheated on his wife, it's still romantic the way he talks about Michelle. Number 10, Justin Timberlake and Alicia Wainwright. Justin Timberlake and Alicia Wainwright made headlines when they were spotted holding hands during a night out in New Orleans. The two actors were shooting the movie Palmer, which is a drama about an ex-college football star who returns home after being in prison. The co-stars were photographed together getting cozy at a bar in Louisiana, sitting at a table holding hands and talking to one another. The photos showed Justin, who didn't appear to be wearing his wedding ring, holding hands with the actress under a table and drinking together. At one point, Alicia could be seen resting her hand on the singer's knee and while he was standing up, putting his arm around her waist. The photos caught caused a huge scandal because he's been married to Jessica Biel since 2012. Their relationship was really being tested and Justin had to make a public statement the following month, apologizing for his strong lapse in judgment and claimed that despite the photos, nothing happened between him and his co-star. Number nine, Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian. This affair was not exactly unique. In fact, it's a story so common in Hollywood that it borders on cliche. The actors were co-stars who met on the set of a live Lifetime movie called Northern Lights. They immediately hit it off and the flirting began. But the kicker was that they were both already married at the time to other people. But hey, in classic Hollywood fashion, they didn't let that stop them. And not long after meeting, they were photographed having dinner together and the rumor mill did the rest. After extreme press coverage of the affair, both Leanne and Eddie decided to make it official and separated from their respective spouses to be with each other. They eventually ended up tying the knot in 2011, but the story doesn't entirely and there. A few years later, Eddie was caught cheating on Leanne at Wendy Williams' 50th birthday party, but she claimed
claims she's unfazed by the whole thing and doesn't seem to mind if he flirts with other women. You know what they say, sometimes how you get them is how you lose them too. Number 8. Helena Bonham Carter and Kenneth Branagh The two are believed to have begun their secret relationship on the set of the film Frankenstein in 1994, which Kenneth played the lead role and Helena played Frankenstein's adopted sister, Elizabeth. At the time, he had been married to Emma Thompson for 8 years, who was adored by fans. The two were even dubbed the golden couple by the British press and seemingly had the perfect marriage, which is why the affair caused a massive scandal that rocked tabloids across the nation. They split in 1995 and years later, Emma has admitted that her tearful scenes in Love Actually were so persuasive because she had had her heart broken very badly by Kenneth. It was a little awkward because both actresses had to work together in the Harry Potter films, with Helena playing Bellatrix and Emma playing Professor Trelawney. But in 2013, she revealed that the two had made their peace years ago and that the divorce was all blood under the bridge. But Emma even joked that she and her Harry Potter co-star were both slightly mad and a little bit fashion challenged. And she said, quote, perhaps that's why Ken loved us both. At number six, Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are one of the best Hollywood couples in my opinion because they're just so much fun. They love to poke fun at each other online and on the red carpet and they just sound like a hoot and a half but it's even more fun to find out how they met. Ryan and Blake met while filming the movie Green Lantern together but they didn't immediately hit things off like some of the other couples on this list. At the time, Ryan was still married to Scarlett Johansson but not for much longer after Ryan met Blake. There had apparently been a little bit of speculation that there was a bit of a spark between Ryan and Blake, but that spark was later confirmed after Ryan's 2010 divorce, as the following year, he and Blake were seen spending a lot of time together, being photographed holding hands and leaving each other's apartments. The couple ended up getting married in a secret ceremony in 2012 and have been together ever since and have been known to share some fun details about married life, so I think it's safe to say that they're pretty happy together and seem to be a good match. At number 5, Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos. After learning about Kelly and Mark's love story, I might be more inclined to believe in love at first sight because it doesn't get any cuter than this. The pair first met back when they were on the soap opera All My Children. Well, they really met during a screen test in 1995 as Mark was hoping to get cast as Kelly's character's love interest. After meeting on set, the couple started dating in secret. When Mark described how he felt about Kelly when they first met, he said, quote, I thought she was adorable, hot, and sexy, and all that stuff, end quote. By 1996, their dating got more serious. They didn't need to take much time to get to know each other because they knew deep down that they were soulmates, and so they decided to get married and eloped in Las Vegas. These two haven't looked back since. They've continued being a power couple and awesome parents, raising three kids together. At number four, Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush. Sophia Bush and Chad Michael Murray were one of the hottest couples of the early 2000s. They were like the Kim and Kanye of the time, and in more ways than one. The couple first met and fell in love on set of their TV teen drama One Tree Hill in 2003, and the two were engaged and wed in 2005. But sadly, things weren't meant to work out in life off screen as after only 5 months of marriage they split up and there's reportedly been tension ever since. According to Sophia, she said that she never wanted to marry Chad in the first place and that it was the people around her as well as the One Tree Hill producers who pressured her into the marriage. She thought the whole thing was a bad idea but apparently it was all for publicity. Years later, when asked about her relationship with Chad in an interview with Andy Cohen, she said, quote, My mother once said to me, if you don't have anything nice to say, not to say anything at all. Maybe getting with your co-stars is a little bit messier than we once thought. Number 3. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall Many Hollywood romances have started on screen and bled into the real lives of the actors involved. The most iconic has to be that of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. The two engaged in a scandalous affair after meeting on the set of To Have and Have Not back in 1944. Bacall was only 19 when she first met Bogart, who was already an acclaimed Hollywood star and 25 years older than her. But that wasn't the only issue. At the time, Bogart was married to actress Mayo Methot. But their their relationship was reportedly falling apart. Bacall confessed in her 1978 memoir that there was no clap of thunder or lightning bolt moment when she first laid eyes on him in 1943. But the actors became close on the set when she was nervous about the production and turned to her co-star for support. Just three weeks into filming, the pair shared their first kiss in her dressing room after a day of filming and he asked her for her phone number, which she famously scribbled on the 
back of a matchbook. After that, they began meeting in secret places and using their on screen names to disguise their identities. Bogart eventually divorced his wife in 1945 and married Bacall just 11 days later. Number two, Sienna Miller and Daniel Craig. Scandal erupted in 2005 when Sienna Miller's confession of love to Daniel Craig was publicly broadcast to the world while she was still married to Jude Law. The two were co stars in the 2004 film Layer Cake with Sienna, and at some point, the two got a little bit closer than they did on screen. But how did the news of the affair get out? Well, that's the tricky part. A journalist hacked Daniel's voicemail, retrieving a message that came from Sienna's phone number. Both parties tried to discredit the audio tape at first, but when the hearing took place for the hacking trial, it was proven to be authentic. Sienna tried to play it off and told the court that she always ended phone calls saying, I love you, insisting it wasn't some huge declaration of love. She denied that the message meant she was in a relationship with Daniel, but she did admit to the court that they were briefly involved. Jude reportedly learned of his wife's affair from the newspaper story and called Daniel to confront him because the two used to be close friends. Talk about messy. And coming in at number one, Meg Ryan and Russell Crowe. In the 90s, Meg Ryan had a squeaky clean image thanks to her role as a leading lady in many rom-coms like When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle. But her reputation took a huge hit when it emerged that she cheated on her then husband, Dennis Quaid, with her co-star Russell Crowe. Meg and Dennis had been married for nine years and already shared a son together when she met Russell on the set of the 2000 thriller Proof of Life, and the pair had instant chemistry. But the affair reportedly caused awkwardness amongst the cast and crew, as the actress didn't even appear on the press tour because she was so worried that they would be asking her about it. In fact, the film's director, Taylor Hackford, blamed the cheating scandal for the film being a flop at the box office. Meg was publicly shamed, especially after she and Dennis officially announced their separation, because it allegedly put too much strain on their marriage. When she began dating her co-star, it really changed the public's perception of her as the quirky rom-com lead. In fact, she told The Guardian in 2003, quote, I was all over the tabloids and I walked through the lobby and the place stopped. People stopped talking and stared at me. Goes to show you how sensational the affair was at the time. Starting off our list at number 10 is Demi Lovato and Joe Jonas. The pair met on the set of Camp Rock where their characters sang and fell in love, so naturally, so did they. Demi openly admits to having a crush on Joe throughout their entire filming process, so she was nothing but thrilled when they got together as a real life couple. In her 2017 documentary called Simply Complicated, Demi revealed that their first kiss was actually on camera and that the relationship only lasted a month or two. We didn't really expect more than that. They were kids. But Joe opened up about the relationship and spoke more seriously on it, saying that Demi struggled with a drug addiction when they were dating, even though she was very young. He confessed that he only stayed with her because he felt like he had to help her. He said, I quote, I really got to know her and got to see the ins and outs of what she was struggling with, like drug abuse. I felt like I needed to take care of her, but at the same time I was living a lie, because I wasn't happy, but felt like I had to stay in it for her. Joe and Demi both admit that their love was young and short lived, but they still have a lot of love for each other as friends. At number 9 is Thomas Doherty and Dove Cameron, who fell in love on the set of a more modern Disney movie, Descendants 2. Disney fans watched their real life relationship go from 0 to 100 in the matter of a couple months right in front of their eyes. Fans started speculating on their relationship long before they confirmed it on February 16th, 2017. The news didn't really surprise anyone. They have been dating ever since and don't try to hide their love for each other in any way. Just look at their Instagrams. During an interview with Access Hollywood, Dove was asked if she'd ever work with Thomas again. Again, and she said it didn't matter because he is the love of her life and she's his partner in real life, which is what matters. Currently, they are being called the cutest Disney couple there is, and yes, at the time of this recording, they are still together. Up next, at number eight is Bella Thorne and Greg Salkin. These two Disney Channel stars have had an on and off relationship throughout the years, and it all started on a Disney set. They met on the set when they both appeared on the third season of Wizards of Waverly Place. They admit to having sparks for each other, you know, that young puppy love, but they didn't date until they were a little bit older. After falling in love while filming, Bella went on to star on her own show Shake It Up and Greg was cast on Marvel's Runaways. They officially started dating in May 2015 and were together for over a year. They were totally couple goals, which is why fans were shocked when they announced that they decided to call it quits. They announced a joint statement to E! News saying, After much thought and soul searching, we have made the difficult decision to end our relationship. We will always love each other and have a deep respect for one another, as we have each grown to be better people because of our time together. 
together. Bella later revealed that there was no animosity between them and tweeted out, things just didn't end up working the way we had hoped, but I'll always love the bub. They got cozy again for a short period in 2017, but it wasn't anything serious, they fooled us, and they just continued on as friends. Number 7, Gerard Piquet. In early June, Barcelona and Spain football star Gerard Piquet's high profile marriage to Colombian star Shakira allegedly ended due to his unfaithfulness. A few days later, Shakira and Piquet confirmed that they had in fact called it quits. According to Spanish newspaper Marca, the other woman was 23 year old Clara Chia, who was dating one of his friends at the time. Piquet was allegedly smitten the first time he saw her, and they exchanged phone numbers and started dating in secret. Now, new details have emerged that he may have been cheating on Shakira as far back as 2012 with Israeli supermodel Bara Faley, who also happens to be Leonardo DiCaprio's ex girlfriend. The affair was exposed when Shakira found messages detailing their intimate encounters. When she was asked about PK being linked to another woman, she told Elle magazine, I can only say that I put everything I had into this relationship and my family, and pointed out that although she chose her marriage over her career, sadly it still didn't work out. Number six, Jason Derulo. Nearly one year after Jason Derulo and Jenna Frooms broke off their relationship, she exposed him for cheating on her throughout their relationship. When her comment section filled up with people accusing her of sleeping around, Jenna took to Instagram to correct the narrative, saying, It's unfortunate my situation didn't work out because we once did aspire to be married, but maybe it's best to be single than be in a relationship and constantly be disrespected and cheated on and lied to. No one aspires to be a single mom, but if your non negotiables are being tested, you'll never find peace in that relationship. The 28 year old insinuated that Jason had a whole roster of women during the time they were together. She said, If a man wants a different girl every week over his family, I'll never accept that. We will never be able to make it work happily. I was straight up told that I should turn the other cheek. I'll never be okay with sharing a lover that I love with all my heart. If the streets come first, I can't change that. Number five, Ime Yudoka. Actress Nia Long had been in a relationship with Celtics coach Ime Yudoka for well over a decade, and the two share a 10 year old son. Just two weeks before they planned to move their family to Boston, where they were house hunting, Nia learned about his betrayal. It turns out her fiance was having an affair with a married front office staffer. It was Ime who reportedly came clean to the actress about the affair because news of his infidelity was about to be made public. On September the 22nd, the Boston Celtics announced that the coach had been suspended for the 2022 to 2023 season for violating team rules. Nia then released a statement addressing her heartbreak, saying the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. It may also released a statement saying, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I am so sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. Number four, Sebastian Bear McLeod. Early this month, Emily Ratajkowski filed for divorce from film producer husband Sebastian in Manhattan Supreme Court after four years of marriage. Back in July, a source close to the model confirmed that the couple had broken up because of his infidelity. Quote, he cheated. He's a serial cheater. It's gross. He's a dog. Although Emily hasn't spoken out directly about her personal life, she has removed both her engagement ring and wedding band and has been photographed without the jewelry for at least three weeks. She chose not to trash Sebastian publicly, but instead subtly confirmed the rumors by liking several tweets, including one that said, M. Rada, finally free from that man just proves that God is actually very real. And I can't believe that little B cheated on M. Rada. In truth, everyone was especially surprised that Emily got cheated on, given her insane beauty and supermodel status. Pretty soon, the internet flooded with women in despair, saying things like, well, if Emily Ratajkowski got cheated on, then no one is safe. All right, guys, the number three is Bradley Stephen Perry and Sabrina Carpenter. Bradley is mostly known for his role on Good Luck Charlie, and she's known for her role on Girl Meets World. They started dating in 2015, and the only reason we found out was because the way he asked her blew up online. He wrote her this adorable note in a bottle. So creative and so cute. All seemed well with the young couple who technically fell in love for being on the set of a Disney Channel interview. We are giving them this honorable mention because they are so cute together. But they didn't work on a show together, but when working with Disney, you're often doing other projects and media stuff together in the same proximity. So I decided. I'm gonna let them on this list. Sadly, their relationship only lasted a short period of time. Neither of them revealed what the exact reasoning was for their split, but it's been said that Sabrina's song, Smoke and Fire, was inspired by the relationship. So she is pulling a Taylor Swift, writing a song about her ex. She's pretty clever for a 19 year old, I gotta say. In spot number two is Miley Cyrus and Nick Jonas. I had mixed emotions when I found out that they were dating. On one hand, I was like super excited because I was shipping them hard for so long, but on the other hand, I was convinced that I 
I was going to marry Nick Jonas, so I was jealous. The two of them met on the set of Miley's show Hannah Montana, where apparently they fell in love on the first day of filming. It was back in 2006 when they met, and Nick's older brother Kevin said, I quote, When he met Miley, I think that kid's head exploded. Apparently, they started to date the first day that they met. They did not waste any time. They dated for a year, which brought drama because Selena Gomez also liked Nick at the time. It wasn't a nasty breakup though, and later in 2009, rumors were flying that they might be rekindling their relationship. I was so excited. But unfortunately, it was all just rumors. They remained friends throughout the years, but I'm pretty sure 90% of us Disney fans are still hoping that they will end up together somehow, even though he's married. But she just got separated, so like, you never know. Taking the number one spot on our list is Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron, because how could they not? They were our high school sweetheart inspiration. They met in 2005 on the set of the first high school musical movie where they fell in love and continued to date throughout the three movie series. Their characters Troy Bolton and Gabriella Montez fell in love in the movie, so it wasn't all that surprising when they locked down off camera. They were going strong for a while, and we thought it would be a true Disney love story, but the two of them split in 2010 after dating for five years. No reason was ever confirmed until later in 2015 when Vanessa opened up about her relationship with Zach during an interview with the New York Times. She said that the relationship ended up making her really mean and would cause her to lash out. She admitted that Zach wasn't the issue, but it was the crazy obsessed girl fan base that he had. I was one of them. She said, I went through a phase when I was really mean because I was so fed up. Girls were running after him and I was giving them death stares. Then I realized that's not what that's about. Spread the love, be a good person. They support you, be nice. There is no doubt that during that time they were very much in love and to this day they both have very positive things to say about one another. Disney has a way of making people fall in love but then ending on good terms. At number 10, Jared Padalecki and Genevieve Cortez. Shout out to the Supernatural fans because I put this one on here just for you guys because this one is a match made in hell, so to speak. Supernatural actor Jared Padalecki met his wife Genevieve Cortez while they were working together on the fourth season of Supernatural. Genevieve was guest starring in a few episodes that season playing a demon named Ruby. Jared has said in a few interviews that he was instantly attracted to Jen from the moment he saw her, but also recalled that in the moment that they met, she was standing in her underwear. During a panel in 2012, the actor told the story of how he first met his wife where he said, quote, I was a single dude and she was a pretty girl in her underwear on the first day of set. I was very excited to meet her. Meanwhile, I think she was like, who is this long haired a-hole who think he can talk to me while I'm reading a book? I interrupted her while she was reading a book and I think she was kind of fussy about it. I was very attracted to her and I got to know her. I was very excited to take her out to lunch." End quote. Jared also explained that what made things work between them was that they quote, got to know each other for about four months before they went on a date. They officially took their relationship from on screen into the real world and have been together ever since, welcoming three children along the way. At number nine, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Even though it took years for them to start dating, I guess the chemistry that they had on screen was just too electric to let slide. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher met in 1998 while working on That 70s Show. Mila sort of grew up around Ashton as she was only about 14 or 15 when she was first cast on the show as Ashton's character's love interest. Ashton was actually Mila's first kiss, which sort of makes their happily ever after story just that much cuter. Mila has said in interviews that while working with Ashton on set, she apparently had a huge crush on her co-star. However, because Mila had gotten into a serious relationship with Macaulay Culkin that lasted nearly a decade, things didn't really get to blossom with Ashton until years later. It wasn't until around 2012 when both Mila and Ashton became single again after getting out of their respective relationships that they finally found their way back to each other and the rest is history. Now before I carry on with the list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far and also consider checking out my gaming channel Viper Girl. I've got gameplay content, top 10s and more so go check it out and subscribe while you're there. At number 8, Colleen Ballinger and Eric Stocklin. Imagine casting your husband, not in plaster but in a show or movie. Well, this is what happened with YouTube star and actress Colleen Ballinger, as her on-screen love interest became her real-life husband. When Colleen was casting people for her Netflix show Haters Back Off, she met Eric Stocklin and cast him in the show. From there, they pretty much hit things off and later began a relationship. The couple got married in 2018 and later welcomed their first child together. It's crazy to think that these two met and fell so deeply in love because Colleen cast her future husband in her Netflix original show. I think that is the true definition of Netflix and chill. Coming in at number 7 is Cole Sprouse and Allison Stoner. I gotta be honest here. 
I didn't even know they dated. That's probably because they were only like 11 years old when they started dating on the set of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. They met while filming and dated throughout the series. Allison revealed on a podcast that her first crush and first boyfriend ever was Cole. They were young throughout the relationship, so their immature breakup isn't all that surprising. Guess how they ended? Through text. Cole sent her a text that simply read, it's not going to work out. Worst part is, he sent the breakup text on her birthday. Real mature, Cole. I mean, because they were so young, this is all just kind of adorable to me. Rumors went around that they had another short fling when they were older, but it just didn't seem to work out for them as a couple. She could always try for his twin brother, Dylan. Swiping the number six spot is Hilary Duff and Aaron Carter. What an iconic duo at the time. We loved watching Hilary practically grow up on her hit Disney Channel series, Lizzie McGuire. But one of our favorite moments from the show was when Aaron Carter did a cameo on the show, which just so happens to be where the two of them fell in love. How could we ever forget the episode where they kissed under a mistletoe. My 13 year old self was dying inside. Actually, my 26 year old self still is. The kiss soon led to the two of them dating in real life. They were together for over a year and a half before calling it quits. So, who was to blame for the heartbreaking split? Aaron. He left Hillary for Lindsay Lohan. I am spilling that tea for y'all right now. But these are cold hard facts, you guys. During an interview with Us Weekly back in 2014, Aaron spoke on it. He said, I quote, I started dating Hillary on my 13th birthday. I was dating her for like a year and a half and then I just got a little bored so I went and I started getting to know Lindsay, dating Lindsay. Meanwhile, Hillary has very much moved on and is now happily married with two children. Throughout the years though, Aaron has made comments saying that he will never give up on Hillary and calls her the love of his life. He kept posting these weird and creepy tweets where he declared his love for her, she publicly announced that his comments were making her uncomfortable. So it looks like she will always just be the one that got away. That's what you get for picking Lindsay Lohan. Halfway through the list at number five is Bridget Mendler and Shane Harper. They were each other's co-stars for years on the Disney show Good Luck Charlie. They openly admit that when they started to film the show together, they really didn't hit it off. They don't have a reason why, they just blame it on the fact that they were 16 when they met and they just didn't click. But two years later, their group of friends started to merge and Bridget says that he was very very persistent when wanting to go out with her, so she agreed to it. After that, the two of them continued to work together and also went on to date for over four years. They seemed as happy as they could be, which is why people were surprised when they ended in 2017. Rumors were going around for a few months, speculating if they were over or not, but then Bridget confirmed it when she told the humor mill, I'm single, so I guess that means I'm undateable. At number three, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner worked on a handful of movies before finally ending up together, and it's almost as if the universe was teasing them or something. The pair first started alongside each other in 2000 after working on the movie Pearl Harbor. At this time, Jennifer was already married to Scott Foley. Fast forward a few years to the summer of 2002, when Jennifer and Ben were reunited on the set of the movie Daredevil. Though both Ben and Jennifer were in relationships at the time, Ben would later go on to say that this was the set where they fell in love with each other. By 2003, people were catching onto their apparent flirtatious vibes, as after they guest starred on Dinner for Five, all people were talking about was how flirtatious these two were being with each other. Eventually, Jennifer and Ben did get out of their respective relationships and started a new relationship of their own. However, that one didn't exactly work out. They got married in 2005, but they hit a rough patch, so to speak, and divorced about a decade later. At number two, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth had a pretty rocky relationship. The couple dated on and off for about a decade, and it all started after they were cast together in a movie. The couple first met while filming the movie The Last Song, and after hitting it off on set and after a few months of speculation, they confirmed their relationship in 2010. After that, things were rocky for a few years. The couple had gone through about two breakups and makeups before they confirmed their engagement in 2012, only to have broken up again in 2013. Years later, the couple reconciled and the engagement was back on. From then, they faced plenty of challenging moments together, from tabloid reports to their house burning down during the California wildfires in 2018. They finally tied the knot at a private wedding ceremony in December of 2018, but their marriage was short-lived as in August 2019, their breakup was confirmed, and they soon filed for divorce, and it was finalized in early 2020. They had a long decade of ups and downs together, but some fans still hold out hope that this isn't the last they will see of this couple, hoping that it isn't their last song. And finally, at number one, Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie. 
Game of Thrones stars Kit Harington and Rose Leslie met on the second season of Game of Thrones, and from then on, they haven't looked back. Soon they were spotted together in public, and rumors started swirling of a relationship beginning to blossom between Jon Snow and Egret. They kept their relationship pretty private for the most part, as fans only really had rumors and speculations to go off of in regards to their favorite Game of Thrones couple. It wasn't until 2016 that the couple finally went public with their relationship, with Kit confirming that they had fell in love while filming Game of Thrones in Iceland. The couple later got engaged in 2017, married in 2018, and they just recently welcomed their first child earlier this year in February 2021. Number 10, Nick Young. In March, a secretly taped video from Lakers player D'Angelo Russell hit the internet, which showed Nick Young admitting to cheating on then fiance Iggy Azalea. He claimed that it was false and she believed him, even going on the Ellen DeGeneres show shortly afterwards to assure everyone that things were good between them. But their relationship soon crumbled when Iggy caught Nick on a security camera bringing back girls into their home. He didn't even have the decency to go someplace else, although that would have been just as bad. She announced the split on Instagram. Quote, Unfortunately, although I love Nick and have tried and tried to rebuild my trust in him, it's become apparent in the last few weeks I am unable to. Nick, on the other hand, just simply tweeted the word single. To add insult to injury, it later came out that he was also expecting a baby with his ex-girlfriend Kiana Green, and the baby was definitely conceived while the former couple were still together. Number 9. Jesse James Sandra Bullock and Jesse James married in 2005, and throughout the first few years, years of their marriage, they looked happier than ever as they attended red carpet events together. The host of Monster Garage supported his successful wife as she won countless awards thanks to her incredible talents as an actress. But it was soon uncovered that Jesse had been cheating on Sandra Bullock for a long time with multiple women, which led him to become, by his own admission, the most hated man in the world. He eventually checked into rehab for sex addiction, and Sandra swiftly filed for divorce in 2010. But the kicker is that he never showed any real remorse for cheating on her with countless women. In an interview seven years later, he said that he had no regrets about the affair, and went on to say, quote, yeah, I did cheat on my wife. Yeah, I stood up and took accountability for it and apologized, and that's the end of the story. In general, both women and men cheat, it's a part of life. What an absolute Prince Charming. Number 7. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie Jen and Brad got married in 2000 in a lavish Malibu wedding and things were perfect for the Hollywood id couple until they suddenly announced their divorce in 2005. What happened exactly? Well, long story short is, Brad met Angelina for the first time on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith and the rest is history. Apparently the movie was filled with so much romantic tension, it was impossible for the two stars not to fall for each other. I'm I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is probably the sexiest spy movie to ever exist, so it's easy to see how everything went down. But the problem was that Brad was still married to Jen. But he didn't let that stop him, and they allegedly still got together despite his marriage. To add insult to injury, he said about his marriage to Jen, quote, I was trying to pretend the marriage was something that it wasn't. I'm satisfied with making true choices and finding the woman I love, Angie, and building a family that I love so much. That sounds pretty harsh, but it turned out that Brad and Angelina's relationship wasn't just a fling, and they actually went on to date for many, many years and had a large family before finally getting married in 2014. The love triangle was one of the biggest celebrity scandals of the early 2000s, and it still dominates the tabloids to this day. Number 6. Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher The actress and writer Carrie Fisher was never one to hold back when she had something to say, and in 2016, she shared a fascinating piece of history in her own memoir called The Princess Diarist. According to Carrie, she had a brief but very intense affair with her Star Wars co-star Harrison Ford while they were filming the movie in 1976. But what's really quite troubling is that People magazine reported that she was just 19 years old when the three-month affair took place. While Harrison was 36 years old and married to his wife of 15 years, Mary Marquard. To make matters worse, the couple also shared two kids together. In terms of sneaking around, Carrie actually said, quote, it was Han and Leia during 
during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. She also explained to The Guardian that the affair between them had eventually come down to unreciprocated love. She said that she'll always feel something for him. The Star Wars actress was so young at the time that they got together and although she must have known it was wrong, it's hard to say that the blame rests completely on her. What's even sadder is that after Carrie died in 2016, Harrison never fully confessed to the affair, probably more out of shame for cheating on his wife. Number 5. Ewan McGregor and Mary Elizabeth Winstead The co-stars brought their on-screen romance into the real world after working together on the FX series Fargo. The pair appeared on season 3 of the anthology crime drama, which debuted in April of 2017. Only a month later, the actress announced on social media that she had split from her husband of 7 years, Riley Stearns. Following her separation, Winstead was spotted on a date, hooking up with McGregor in London. And cheating rumours were flying because although she was single, he was very much not. The train spotting actor was still married to Eve Mavrakis at the time, with whom he shares four children. After the Emmy winner was spotted getting cozy with Winstead, fans began to wonder about the status of his marriage. But it wasn't until January of 2018 that his now ex-wife filed for divorce. But while the two managed to keep their romance relatively private, their relationship raised eyebrows even among their family members. In fact, in August of 2018, McGregor's daughter Clara had some strong feelings on the new relationship at the time. She took to Instagram to comment on a Mary Elizabeth Winstead fan page, quote, most beautiful and talented woman on earth? Oh man, y'all are delusional. This girl is a piece of trash. Wow. Number 4. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman Although it's been over for decades, Nicole Kidman's marriage to Tom Cruise is still one of Hollywood's most talked about relationships. Cruise met Nicole Kidman on the set of the movie Days of Thunder, and the pair were instantly smitten with one another, and they soon started engaging in a torrid love affair. But at the time of meeting, you guessed it, the Top Gun actor was still married to Mimi Rogers, whom he wed in 1987. As it became clear that the affair was more than just a simple fling, Tom divorced his first wife in February of 1990 and less than one year later, he exchanged vows with Nicole in December of 1990. They even adopted two children, Isabella Jane and Connor Anthony, and eventually went on to make two more movies together as a couple. But as we all know, their marriage was far from perfect and they ended up splitting a decade later in 2001. Looking back on the divorce, Nicole said, quote, It took me a very long time to heal. It was a shock to my system. We were in a bubble, just the two of us. We became very very dependent on one another. Number 3. Leanne Rhimes this affair was not exactly unique, in fact it's a story so common in Hollywood that it borders on cliché. Actors Leanne Rhimes and Eddie Cibrian were co-stars who met on the set of a Lifetime movie called Northern Lights. They immediately hit it off and the flirting began. But the kicker was that they were both already married at the time to other people. But hey, in classic Hollywood fashion, they didn't let that stop them and not long after meeting, they were photographed having dinner together and the rumor mill did the rest. After extreme press coverage of the affair, both Leanne and Eddie decided to make it official and separated from their respective spouses, all to be with each other. They eventually ended up tying the knot in 2011. But the story doesn't entirely end there and a few years later, Eddie was caught cheating on Leanne at Wendy Williams' 50th birthday party. But she claimed she's unfazed by the whole thing and does not seem to mind the fact that he flirts with other women. You know what they say, sometimes how you get them is how you lose them. Number 2. Kevin Hart This comedian and actor unfortunately has a long history of messing around behind his partner's backs and not really caring enough to hide the fact that he was doing so. I mean, the comedian even incorporated the story of cheating on his first wife into his 2013 special Let Me Explain. Even though he tried to make it seem as though the experience made him change and grow as a person, it wasn't long before the same scandal arose yet again. Four years after the special aired, he publicly admitted to cheating on his second wife, Enneko Parrish, while she was pregnant with his son. Now he is somehow using this new story in his new Netflix docuseries, Kevin Hart, Don't F It Up, where he has his wife talk about how she found him cheating. Quote, how I found out was a DM. I don't know who it was. They sent me an edited video of 
Kevin and you know another woman. But she went on to say that she does believe in second chances and that she's all about forgiveness and adding that three strikes and you're out. Which everyone can agree is way more than fair. At number 10 we have Patrick Carney. After three years Michelle Branch and Patrick Carney called it quits and Michelle Branch was then arrested over a domestic dispute with her husband who she accused of being unfaithful. The Davidson County Sheriff's Office confirmed that Michelle was taken into custody and then released on a thousand dollar bond. The singer will then be due back to court on November 7th. Just before the incident occurred, Michelle had tweeted and deleted a note two hours earlier claiming that the Black Keys drummer had cheated on her while she was at home caring for her six month old baby. Michelle would then later address that she and Patrick were splitting and she would also say that she was devastated and that a rug was completely pulled out from underneath her and now she had to figure out how she could move forward. At number 9 we have Matthew Lawrence. In late August, Cheryl took to TikTok to share a video of herself and accused her ex of cheating on her. Cheryl went on to say that the guy she was seeing would never talk to his mistress again but then she found text messages and a necklace hidden in a pair of his shoes. Cheryl then went on to write across a video in which she would suggest that Matthew had been unfaithful during their marriage. The Dancing with the Star Pro would then caption the clip with the feature of Adele singing the last time from her song When We Were Young. Cheryl would then write, this is the last time and it's absolutely right, goodbye forever. Now Cheryl was definitely going through the blues now that her divorce was finalized, so she never did call out the cheater by name, but considering that she's never been with anybody else after the couple split, it's clear that Matthew cheated. Hey Peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the gossip to come. Number 7. Abby Cornish and Ryan Philippe The actor first met Reese Witherspoon while starring alongside her in the 1999 movie Cruel Intentions. They actually fell so in love with each other that they ended up getting married that same year. But all good things must come to an end, especially Hollywood romances. And in 2008, Ryan started to get closer to his new co-star, Australian actress Abby Cornish, while they were filming the movie Stop Loss. The two of them seemed to be so comfortable being seen in public together that they were eventually caught having dinner together in a Texas restaurant despite the fact that there were some curtains around the table. They were also caught together again just outside of Ryan's apartment. The affair was so in your face it really really wasn't funny. But it wasn't until Reese discovered intimate messages back and forth that were being exchanged between the two of them on his phone. Then it was clear that after 7 years of marriage and 2 children, Reese was ready to call it quits with Ryan and later went on to marry talent agent Jim Toth. Whilst Ryan and Abby's love affair eventually lost its spark. Number 6. Kerry Russell and Matthew Rees The actors played a secret KGB agents and love interests on the FX spy drama The Americans. The romance between the two sparked while on set but there was just one problem. At the time, Kerry was still married to Shane Deary with whom she had 2 kids. The two leads play like Mr and Mrs Smith and so naturally many believe their steamy scenes were indicative of a real life romance. At the time though they both heavily denied it. When talking about their sex scenes, Matthew said quote, We've We've all done a million of them in this crazy life we sign up for. He said that eventually the clinical element of it kicks in, which sort of takes away from that embarrassment. But it's obvious that there was really something going on, as the two of them were shopping for furniture together at Christmas in 2013. Not long after, Kerry parted ways with her now ex-husband. Unlike most cheating scandals though, this one seemed to turn out quite well, as Kerry, Matthew and Shane reportedly go on vacations together and frequently dine out as friends. Not only that, but in 2016, Kerry and Matthew work on their first child together and became a blended family. Number 5. Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott The Beverly Hills 90210 star and her husband, Dean McDermott, have been making headlines since their scandalous start. The two actors met on the set of Lifetime's Mind Over Murder in 2005, only a year after Spelling married her first husband, Charlie Shanian. Dean was also married at the time for more than a decade to Mary Jo Eustace with whom he shares a son. Tori and Dean began cheating on their spouses the night they met. In fact, she wrote about the affair in her 2009 memoir, quote, It was love at first sight. I fell so hard. Then I noticed he had a wedding ring. When someone asked, he pulled out photos of his children and oh yeah, I had a husband too. Yeah, there's no making that sound better. She went on to say that the couple ended up spending the night together despite the fact that they were both married. And she knew it was meant to be because when she woke up next to Dean the following day, she said she had no regrets. The two married and went on to have four children together before yet another cheating scandal rocked their relationship in 20. 2013, this time with Dean and the nanny. Number 4. Kate Hudson and Owen Wilson 
season. The Hollywood stars had a massive cheating scandal while filming the 2006 comedy You, Me and Dupree, most likely because Kate was married to rock musician Chris Robinson for six years when she met Owen. The actors had a wild affair that lasted only six months, but it was definitely long enough to ruin Kate's relationship with her husband forever. Amid the rumors of infidelity, the Black Crow singer ended up filing for divorce from Hudson in November 2006, citing irreconcilable differences and seeking joint custody of their then two-year-old son, Ryder. A month after the film opened in July, Kate and Owen were confirmed to be officially dating. But the affair didn't seem to stack up to anything as the couple's relationship was short-lived, and they broke up less than a year later. As the public started to turn against the actress, she countered the speculation by telling Harper's Bazaar, that's not what happened. But looking back at the 2006 press tour, it was pretty obvious that something was happening between them, because it got kind of inappropriate. Owen asked her about wearing a bikini in the film, and whether she and her husband have ever had a third wheel experience. At number 3 we have Randall Emmett. Now Randall Emmett became majorly burned after getting caught cheating by his fiance Lala Kent earlier this year. When the Vanderpump Rules star wiped her Instagram clean of Emmett back in early October, many fans started to speculate something was seriously wrong. Emmett would then be accused of cheating on Lala with a couple of girls while he was in Nashville. Emmett was able to get away with cheating on Lala for so long because he was using burner Instagram accounts and he had a burner phone that he would use to text other girls on. Now Randall hasn't come out to confirm the allegations, but he has said he'll never talk ill about Lala because she is the mother of his one year old child. At number 2 we have Matthew Rondeau. Now Shauna Mochler posted some pretty cryptic messages about Matthew Rondeau following their breakup. The posts that she would post on her Instagram story would feel rumors that Matthew cheated on her with multiple women. Shauna would write, stop stressing over a guy who can't be yours because he wants to be with everyone. Now their breakup would come as somewhat of a surprise to fans as Shauna has been gushing about how supportive Matthew has been with helping her create new content. Matthew would then in a deleted Instagram story come out to say that he would never speak to Shauna ever again and he also claimed that she had been seeing other people while they were still together. And at number one today we have Travis Scott. So last week Instagram model Rojan Carr shared on her private story a video of Travis on set of a shoot. This video would start speculation that the two have met up. Now Travis would come out to say that a lot of weird things were happening and going on and that an uninvited person showed up on his set and that fans needed to stop telling fictional stories. Now Rojan would then come out to say that everyone is aware that he and her have been seeing each other and in recent times they have been together and that he cheats on Kylie every single night. The model then went on to note that she was even with Travis on Valentine's Day and when she ran out, Travis had every girl blowing up her phone to get her to come back. A source has claimed that Kylie is so sick of hearing about Travis cheating's accusations and she loves him but she's sick of his commitment issues.